you, thank you, thank you. Woo. Well, welcome, happy Sunday morning to you, and Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Susan Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginning Church of the Big Ben. And here he says, where we what? Oh, a church you can call home, where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. So if you're not in church, find you a Bible-based church where you can go and start learning. Amen. Amen. And uh and apply yourself. Church alive is worth the drive. Amen. Yes. So Amen. or the walk. If you're that close. Yeah, that close. <laughs> so praise God. Anyway, we want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all our visitors and all of you joining us by audio and video. Yes. Amen. So prepare yourselves. God has a word for you. Yes. You sir. gotta have an attitude and say, Man, I ain't letting go. I want God to bless me. Mm -hmm. And he wants to bless you. Yes, Amen. Sir. You just you just gotta have that attitude, that tenacity, you know, say, hey. Yes. He's not finished with me. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be uh, available for when he calls. He's calling you now. Mm -hmm. You have a call. And he's calling you saying, hey, press on with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Be available to him. I got a scripture break. You know, we take breaks for all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I put a little scripture break on uh, Facebook every day. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be talking. This is what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about let God arise. Mm -hmm. Amen. We let so many things arise, including our tempers. No. Boy. <laughs> we got to let God arise over yeah. all these situations. You know, whatever yes. you're letting God ar ar arise up, you know, you got to be careful. But we got to let God arise. It, says, yes. it goes like this. It says, let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Wind blowing, huh? <laughs> and let your enemies be scattered. Morning, brother. Morning. It says, be alert. Be prepared. The next time Satan comes <laughs> at you with cares, fears, doubts, unbelief, and yes. condemnation. When Satan comes, he comes. Remember what Satan comes for? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. But the Bible also says in John 10, 10, he says, Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So what do I have to do? To have that life more abundant. Uh -huh. Man, I want to dig in. I want to find yeah. out what it is. Amen. Amen. But the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. destroy. Jesus is not into those things. Amen. That's it. Some of us go around saying, well, you know, I, don't know, I don't know why Jesus put this sickness on me. Uh -uh. Well, I don't know why he put this bad thing on me. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I think he's trying to teach me something. Mm. No, you put yourself there. Mm. Amen. He put You put yourself. If you got problems, it's not because of him. That's it. Amen. We just got to make it right, right and line up with him. Amen. Woo, come on. <laughs> Be ready to fight back with the word. We fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. You can't fight it physically. If you're fighting it physically, you lose already. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual battle that you have to fight. And you know, the battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. We get lots of thoughts in the mind not all they're not all good amen <laughs> so don't put it to action you put put it to action you know you're going to fall so renew your mind with the word of god amen so praise god it says you fight back with the word you got to be in the word and you fight back with the word that's what jesus did it worked for him and it'll work for us yeah. he's a defeated foe jesus defeated him you have to remind him that you know you're a defeated foe uh -huh. you ain't going to have your way with me you got to have uh, to have authority, take authority, yeah. use authority. Yeah. Amen. It says, submit yourself to God, resist, resist. the devil, and uh -huh. he will flee. flee. He'll yeah. run. He'll go. He has yeah. to. Because he has to obey what the word of God says. Speak faith-filled words. Not negative words. You know, we shoot words so easy. You know, we just, man, they just, you just shoot them out of your mouth. Any, yeah. Anytime, anytime you want to, you know. But you got to be careful. Death and life are in those words you shoot now. Amen. Positive or negative. Uh -huh. Be careful. Speak faithful words. In him, you are lifted up from the sin. In him, you are made to sit in heavenly places. In him, you are made the righteousness of God. Let these truths get down in your spirit. Know who you are in him. Amen. He's the one that's backing you. When you see the giant stand in front of you, they see you, they see who's backing you, and they yeah. see what's coming out of you, yeah. the Word of God, you know, and say, mm, I don't want nothing to do with this. So, remember the 10 spies? 
10 had a negative report, yeah. 2 had a positive report. Mm -hmm. They saw themselves over the giants. Mm -hmm. The rest of them saw themselves as grasshoppers. Yeah. And you know, you can let the world just run all over you. Uh -huh. But no, I'm not going to let this thing happen to That's me, it. you know? So sometimes it's not good to be around the big crowd, amen? <laughs> <laughs> you just go, if you gotta be yourself, uh -huh. Remember that you're not by yourself because not he is yourself. with you. That's it. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's uh -huh. always with you. Yeah. Woo, man. We can say amen and go home. <laughs> In him you have powerful weapons against the attacks of the yes. devil. Remember we found out a few weeks ago that praise is a powerful weapon. Yes, indeed. And some, some of us never use it. Mm. Say, well, you know, what we need to find out what these weapons are. The yeah. Word of God, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, and praise is one of them. Mm -hmm. So we can praise Him, you know, and you know, remember this. Lord just brought this to me, but Lucifer was the archangel mm -hmm. over praise and worship in heaven. Mm -hmm. And he lost that because mm -hmm. he tried to put himself above yeah. God. And he lost that. Man, he's gone. So he knows praise and worship. You don't want to hear it. Hmm. Mm. He's a, he's a totally against that. Yeah. But but find out what those powerful weapons are and use those powerful weapons against the devil. Yes. Once you get the understanding of who you are in Christ, uh -huh. your whole life will change. Yes. Amen. And we win with him. That's it. We win with him. That's that's a spiritual nugget right there. Mm -hmm. a, a scripture break. We take breaks of all kinds. Mm -hmm. But you know, go into Facebook sometimes and you read those uh scripture breaks that I put on there because yeah. it's the word of God amen it's going to set you free it says if you know the truth it's going to set you free yeah. Woo, praise, God. praise God anyway prepare yourselves God has something great for you yes, we're going to be talking about letting him arise uh -huh. letting go and letting God yeah. because you know what are, well let me get into the word first let's make this declaration together grab your swords Soldier yeah, of God, you, warrior of God. Yes. <laughs> Let's make this declaration together. If you never picked up your Bible, I put a Facebook, I put a little uh, slide that says, uh, this Bible is all dusty, and it says on there, it says, read me, uh -huh. or pick me up, read me, you know? Uh -huh. We need to do that. All right. Open it up. The devil's not afraid of this book. That's it. He's not afraid of this book. He's afraid of what's written in this book. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you, but you got to get it in you, and you got to speak it out. Let's read it together. Declaration: This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, I can do what it says I can do today. Yeah, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I guarantee you. Amen. Don't want to hear that. We need to hear it ourselves. Amen. Praise God. So, we pray to us to receive. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Yes. Let God arise and let your cares, yeah. your troubles, your problems be scattered. Yep. Yep. Amen. I know you you don't have any troubles or problems. Uh -huh. you I do, you know. Uh -huh. But <laughs> you let you let God arise over these situations, you know. Up with God and down with the enemy. Down with all these things, you know. You're gonna lift him up. You know, he's God on the mountain and he's God on in the valley. He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. So praise God, he, he, he doesn't leave. He's there with you. Thank God, you know, if you're jo I'm not Jonah, <laughs> he running from God, and the fish swallowed him, and God was still there. Amen. The uh, uh, Paul and Silas singing in dungeon, they sang praises unto God, and guess what? He heard him. Yes, he did. And he set him free. So. He's always there. He never leaves you, nor forsakes you, amen? What are you letting arise in your life today, daily? What are you focus, focusing your actions, your words, your energy, your thoughts on? You might say, well, Pastor, uh, <clears throat> things are hard right now. I lost my spouse. I lost my job. I lost my money. Or I lost some money. My health is bad. Sometimes uh, we uh, focus on the wrong things. Yeah. And uh, we want to be careful that we magnify him and not the problem. You let me defeat, you let him defeat discouragements and self-pity rise up. Why don't you turn that around by confessing what his word says? Amen. 
saying what his word says confess his word and say i'm magnifying god because god is still in control somebody may have walked out on me i may be hurting right now but i know that he is the restorer of my soul i have lost the job but guess what mm -hmm. i'm not going to worry about it because god is my provider yes he is, he is supplying yes. all of my needs oh. he is fighting my battles for me mm -hmm. amen so praise god let god arise keep yeah. going Ooh, i like that i love eagles <laughs> let god arise keep going let god arise let his enemies be scattered we're, we're in uh, psalms uh, 68 1 and 3. keep going here we go Woo, man if you don't get it, you got it now. Let God arise. Amen. Amen. Not 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 your not your bad stuff, but That's the good it. stuff. Keep going. Amen. Here we go. This is where I want it. <laughs> uh -huh. With Jesus on one side, the enemy on the other side. Mm. But he says, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace yes. and remain at rest. Exodus 14, 14. I'm gonna read it to you. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, well, let's go there together. Yeah. Exodus 14 14. Grab your Bibles. Yeah. 14, 14. If you don't you should you should know how to use your Bible by now. <laughs> Exodus is yeah. the Old Testament. You got yeah. Old Testament and New Testament. <laughs> 14 14 says what? The Lord, the Lord shall, fight shall fight for you, you and ye shall, shall hold you. your peace. The Lord shall fight for you. Mm -hmm. Scratch you out of there and put your name on there because yes. he's going to fight your battles for you it's in the word of god amen, amen. this is just one scripture there's more mm -hmm. scriptures yeah. Amen. Yeah. but you have to go find them and study them but he's there for you and the enemy knows this <laughs> let me see what the amplifier says the lord will fight your battle and fight for you you shall hold your peace and remain at rest mm -hmm. remain at rest you know you don't have to worry about it if you I, 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 I said it, I gave it to God, mm -hmm. I put it in his hand, and I cast it on him, mm -hmm. and he's He's going to take That's care of it. it. Yeah. I'm not concerned about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't go back and say, I wonder if he took care of it. I wonder if he did it. <laughs> no. Have mm -hmm. faith. Believe that he's going to take care of it. Amen. And it's, it's, done, it's a done thing. Yes, it's it a is. done deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Praise God. When you start giving God glory and letting him arise in your life, you can not stay defeated. That's it. Amen. Amen. You cannot stay defeated Amen. unless you want to, or unless you don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I know somewhere in here, I'm going to repeat this, but the worst thing about a, a Christian, a believer, is you have the word in you and not speaking it out. That's bad. That's mm -hmm. almost as bad as being lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. But if you have, if you have the word of God in you and do nothing about it. Or you're ashamed to say anything mm. that is bad mm -hmm. you need to confess the word yes. and share the word yes that's what he's called us to do amen. amen that's the call in your life is to mm. go and reconcile people back to him yes you know you just he didn't call you to just be a defeated uh christian that's right that's right you're powerful and you have powerful tools and gifts he's given you so you can go and do and accomplish what yes. he wants you to do He's given you all needed to do these things. Amen. He's yeah. equipped you. He's anointed yes. you. He's called you for you to go and do these things. But you have to mm -hmm. see, have faith and step out in faith. Mm -hmm. And know that you can do these things. Amen. Woo, man. Amen. Yeah. You say amen or, 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 or oh me. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Your enemies will be scattered. Yeah. They'll tremble at your words of faith. Your faith-filled words. That's what I'm speaking Faith your words. Begin right now by declaring God's goodness in your life. Yeah. And let God arise so that you can move forward in victory mm -hmm. he has given you. The victory he has given you. The song says, and the Bible says, there's victory in Jesus. Victory in Jesus. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not fighting this by yourself. If you are, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. But greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good preaching, Pastor. Yep. <laughs> when God arises, two, two things happen. It says, the enemies are scattered. Them cares and problems, them uh, concerns and situations, they're going to be scattered. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Just have the attitude like uh, 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 
who was that? Caleb, Joshua? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm standing my ground. This is what the word of God says, mm -hmm. and we're standing on it. I am not going to be moved. Be rooted and grounded in him. Mm -hmm. And people gather unto him for rest. We yeah. just read that. Mm -hmm. Just be have, have rest, have peace. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trusting him. Trust in him. <laughs> the word led well. Let's uh, keep going. Let the Lord fight your battles. He hasn't lost one yet. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this is That's what right. you need to know. He hasn't lost right. one, so let him fight for you. Right, right. You know, uh, I'm sure I've lost many, <laughs> mm. but he's never lost any. So I'm going to trust him, mm. and I'm going to be on his side. Yeah. Amen. Keep going. Amen. Praise God. This is good. There we go. Psalm 68, 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let's read it together. It says, the New King James says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Let, let those also who hate him flee before him. Mm -hmm. As smoke is driven away, so dri drive them away. Mm -hmm. It says, As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish yeah. at the presence of God. Amen. But let the righteous be glad. Yeah. Let them rejoice before God. And let them rejoice exceedingly. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible tells yeah. us in uh, Psalms uh, 118, 24, it says, This is the day the Lord has made. Lord has made. I will, will, or we will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Whatever situations are waiting for you, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. When you submit yourself to Him, right, you right. know, them. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Yes, I'm yes. not concerned about what giants are out there. Amen. Because God is with me. Yes. Amen. God is with me. He never lost a battle. He's going to fight mm -hmm. for me. But it says, you know, I underline all the lets. <laughs> all the <laughs> lets on there. <laughs> Let God yeah. arise. Let is an action word. Yeah. It gives God permission. Right. You say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to let you, God. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got to let go and let God. Take yourself off the throne and put him on the throne. Right. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Allow him to speak. Allow him to participate in Amen. solving your problems. Amen. Allow him to participate. Mm -hmm. Give him permission. Yield yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Says, Lord, go ahead and do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm letting him have his way. <laughs> Praise God. And also, let is a powerful uh -huh. word. It involves your will. It involves your choice. It involves your decision. Because yeah. I'm going to give myself. I'm going to commit myself. I'm going to surrender myself and give him permission yeah. to have his way. So I've got to do something. Yeah. Amen. You know what God doesn't do? Jesus doesn't do this. He don't interfere and override your will. That's right. If your will is to not involve him, he's not going to be involved. That's it. You have to involve him. Mm -hmm. Surrender your will. Surrender yourself and let him come. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, he's knocking, but you have to answer. Yeah. If your will is not to answer the door, he's not going to force his way That's in. It. He That's could it. if he wanted to, but he won't. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to submit yourself. Yeah. Submit yourself. Surrender yourself. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Your will, your choice, and your decision. Yeah. Man, this is yeah. awesome. Your, drive, your will is a spirit, determination, your drive, your motivation, resolve, your backbone, your will, power. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Psalms mm -hmm. 90, uh, 91, 1 through 3. Is it up there? Keep going, Kurt. Yeah. Yes. It says, He who dwells in a secret place at the most high Amen. will abide or will rest. In the shadow of the Almighty, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the north deadly pestilence. Amen. Yes. That's a different translation. Then I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. It says, You can go to God's most high to hide. You can go to God all powerful for protection. Yes. And I say to the Lord, you are my place of safety. Yes. You are my fortress, my God. I trust in you. Amen. God will save you from hidden dangers and from mm -hmm. deadly diseases. Yes. Is there something that's going around? Everybody is fearful of the coronavirus, mm. COVID. But guess what? 
There's no new sickness. Maybe you're introducing a new sickness, but it's not new for him. That's it. Says by Jesus stripes you're healed. Healed. I'm talking about everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. And there's nothing new for him. That's he it. covered it all from A to Z. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's new for scientists and maybe it's new for them, mm -hmm. but it's not new for him. Right. right. He says, when you receive him and you ask He's going to heal everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is healed. Everything is covered. Amen. Amen. Woo. Come on. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going, honey. Man, we're doing good. Psalms 100. Woo, I love this. <laughs> Psalms 100 says this. Make a joyful noise a week unto the Lord all you day. And serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Gladness. Come before yes. friends with singing. Joyful. Singing. Yes. All of you. Don't say, I yes. can't sing. Or I, I can't hold it, whatever. Can't carry a tune. <laughs> know ye that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us yes. and not we ourselves. Yes. We are his people and the sheep of yes. his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving daily. Uh -huh. Giving him thanks, you know. Don't say, well, I'm giving thanks on Thanksgiving Day. No. Every day. Every day. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Yes. You know, I posted something on Facebook this morning. It was a hearse. Mm. Going down the highway says, if that's not your right this morning, <laughs> give God thanks. Amen. Oh my God. Because you're not in the back of one of them mm -hmm. things. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. God. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter yes. his courts with praise. praise. Even some of us need to learn how to do this. Praise. You know, yes. we go to a ball game. Oh, we go man. to a ball game. We go to a sporting event. Mm -hmm. Man, we're jumping up and down. We're raising our arms, you know. We're mm -hmm. hollering. We're doing all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. We come to church and we're so quiet. <laughs> we don't say much. <laughs> See, we don't want nobody to know. <laughs> well, I saw you at the I saw you at the game. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you was running, you was shouting, you was cutting flips, mm. you know, you was doing all kinds of things. Mm. And we come to church and <laughs> real quiet. You know, hey, we gotta let it loose, man. There's a lot of people out there at, at the Marvel Ice Festival last night. They, they was dancing. They was having all kinds of good, and people gather for all these events. Yeah. When it's church time, you don't see them. <laughs> Amen. It says, "Don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together. Yes. Come in together. Yes, to serve our God. Mm -hmm. You know, ain't too many. Mm -hmm. You know, this uh, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's just divided and scared people, and people yeah. are staying away. Yeah. But if you're staying away. It's because you're being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> you're being lazy because if you know your God, hey, it ain't going to stop me. I'm going to go anyway. All right, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> Don't be fearful. Know that he is there for us. Amen. Yes, he is. Don't stay away. Assemble yes. yourselves together. Just like the Bible tells us to. His yes. word tells yes. us to. <laughs> be thankful in him. Bless his name. For the Lord is bad. No good. 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 His mercy is everlasting. Yes. And his truth endures to all, all generations. generations. Amen. Amen. Generations. You know what the enemy wants to do is divide. Mm. And you guys gotta stay home. You mm. can't gather anymore. Mm. Okay? You gotta stay home yeah. and they try to control you. Yeah. We shouldn't allow that to happen. Yeah. We shouldn't allow that to happen. So yeah. we're still gonna meet. And we're still going to worship God. We're still going to honor God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because He told us to assemble yes. ourselves together. Right. Okay, I'll get off of that now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Amen. All, All right. right. Numbers 10 35 says, And it came to pass when the ark was set forth, and Moses said, Rise up, Lord, mm -hmm. and let thine enemies be scattered, mm -hmm. and let them that hate thee. Flee before mm -hmm. thee. Amen. So this is from the beginning. Yeah. Way back, you know. Mm. He chose Moses. Moses said, I can't I can't talk. Mm. <laughs> Moses uh, God chose you and he mm -hmm. called you. Yes. And we have excuses. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, me and Mr. Reyes were talking one day and and I have a I bought a deck of cards. Playing cards. I don't. I don't play them. They still covered up. I mean, sealed. <laughs> and I said, you know, some of us use 
a deck of playing cards mm -hmm. as excuses, and we have an excuse for each one, th mm -hmm. one thing, you know. But we have to be careful not not to do that. Amen. We must yeah. not forget about our God. Mm -hmm. Amen. The King James says, and it came to pass when the ark set forth that Moses said, Rise up, mm -hmm. Lord, and let the thine enemies be scattered, yeah. and let them that hate thee flee before thee. Yes. This yes. Is, we can say this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know, right. hey, I'm gonna rise up. Thank you, Lord, yeah. for this day. I'm gonna to be glad and rejoice in this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And step out. Yeah. And I'm gonna let you rise up, Lord, and all my enemies, all the yes. giants out there waiting on me. Huh. They're gonna flee. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not I'm not going for that. I'm not falling for that. Amen. Says, child of God, let God arise daily in your life. Surrender to him daily. Praise him daily. Rejoice, be glad daily. Psalms yeah. 118. I mean uh, 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, yeah. be glad in it. Set and keep your priorities right. Amen. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That means I'm going to let God arise first. Amen. No matter what, yeah. i got to settle myself. i got to get in him. i got to get in the word yeah. and renew my mind to the things of God and serve him yeah. first. You know, first thing is open your eyes, and that's your first miracle. Mm -hmm. Your eyes open, and he, you had a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. And I say, thank you, Lord, for this yes. new day. Amen. Mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. Know that you can do all things through him. It's time you stop putting yourself down and start seeing yourself the way God sees you. You know, Jesse saw his young son as a little shepherd boy. God saw him as king. You see yourself down and you see yourself a nobody and the world says the same thing. You're not qualified, you're nobody, you're nothing. Yeah. And God says, you're precious in my eyes. You're yeah. a winner, yeah. you're a champion. You can yeah. do all yeah. things through Christ, things. amen. And that's the way he sees you. So you start seeing yourself the way he sees you, amen. You're not defeated. You only, if you allow yourself to be defeated. Mm -hmm. Don't go there anymore. Amen. I'm not using those words anymore. I'm not letting, even if they speak those words to me, I'm not receiving them. You have a choice. I don't receive them. That's not me. You're talking to the wrong person. Come on now. <laughs> I'm too quiet now. <laughs> know that you can do all things through him. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When you know this, you'll have no fear. He's not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. Yes, thank you. Amen. Woo. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Amen. Let God arise, let your enemies, your troubles, your cares, and your uh flee from you. Because they're not gonna hang around. Thank I don't you. want them hanging around. We've let too many things hang around us too long. It's mm -hmm. time to get rid of some of those things. You know, all that extra weight, all that extra baggage, all that those things, we just Cast it on him. He said, why are you carrying these things? All these years, it's time you gave them to him. And start following and doing what he wants you to do. Amen. Focus right. on him and not the problem. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Yeah. Now. Therefore, woo. Yeah. James 4, 7 and 8. But it says what? It says, therefore, submit. Yeah. Submit. It means... You got to get off the throne. <laughs> Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will stay with no, you. No, he will flee from you. He will flee. Huh? Oh, he will flee from you. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Amen. <laughs> you know, God draws close to us, and we go back. <laughs> we don't draw close to him. We, he comes forward, and we go back. No, he says, draw close to me, and yes. I'll draw close to you. Amen. He has no problem. Right. He loves you. Yes. He knows all about you. And he knows all your shortcomings. He knows all your problems. Yes. All the bad things about you. But he loves you the most. That's it. That's and we go and, sh and share and vent with people that can't even give us good mm -hmm. advice. Right, Instead of going to the one that knows us. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's not me, Pastor. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, and you double-minded. Double. Let's not be double-minded. Okay. We have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are to renew our minds with the Word of God. Where does the enemy attacks the most? The mind. The mind. The battlefield is the mm -hmm. mind. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. Amen. You start thinking negative things, right. and you start falling and doing those negative yeah. things. Because you didn't renew your mind. Right. That's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Cleanse my mind. Mm -hmm. Renew my mind mm -hmm. with what the Word of God says. Yes. And I'm not going to give in. Mm -hmm. we've, we've given, we've done that too much. It's time we stop. And that's your choice. Mm -hmm. You can stop it if you want to. Amen. Come on. You can do all things through Christ. <laughs> the easy to read version of uh, James 4, 7 says, so give yourself to God. Stand against the devil, and he will have to run away yes. from you. Yeah. Well, I tried it, but it don't work. No. <laughs> the word of God works if That's you it. work the word. Yeah. First thing you gotta do is you gotta get it in you, yeah. and then you have to speak it out. Yeah. You have to confess it. Amen. The word flee means this: to run away, escape, take off. Mm. You gotta go. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's it. Mm. You know, you know what happens when uh, when you're confessing the word and living for God, mm. enemy has to stay away. Yes, yes. Amen. And God's going to yeah. bring new people around you because mm -hmm. some of the old people are dragging you the wrong way oh, and they're pulling you the wrong way. The wrong way. There's yes. many distractions. Yes. Amen. That are going to fall away when you mm -hmm. start serving Him. Mm -hmm. He's going to bless you when you start serving Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Otherwise, all these negative things, all these yeah. extra weights are just yeah. going to hold you. That's it. Amen. And the enemy uses people just like yes, God does. uses people. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes we don't want to give up certain things. But if he takes something from you, don't yeah. go back after it. Let it That's go. It. Amen. It. <laughs> oh, keep going, sir. Man, this is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Hallelujah. Hebrews. 13, 5, 13, oh, yeah. 5 and 6. Let me see. I got a little ahead of myself here. But it says, let your conversation be without uh, covetousness yes. and be content with such things as ye have. For uh -huh. he has said, I will never leave thee. That's, you put your name there. Yeah. I will never leave you. Yes, I will yes. never leave Jose nor forsake you. That's it. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Yes. And I will not fear what can man what what excuse me what man shall do unto me that's it. amen that's it. and uh i've got it somewhere else i got it here it says let your conduct be without covetousness uh -huh. be content with such things as you have for he himself has said i will never i will never says never yeah never yeah. means never, never. <laughs> I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's when you start feeling lonely, when you start feeling sad, depressed uh -huh. yourself, uh -huh. it's because you're not spending time with him. That's it. You're spending time with something else. You're mm -hmm. wasting your time on something else. Yeah. Amen. When you know he is with you, you're not going to be lonely. That's it. Amen. You're going to feel up and up. Say, you know what? Thank you, Father. Amen. Thanking him. For being there for you. Amen. And verse 6 says, So we may come boldly and say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. Amen. You need to be bold. You need to be bold. If you're if you're a Christian, if you're a child of God, if you're in the Word of God, you'll be bold. Amen. You'll be bold. And you know what? In these last days, you need to be bolder. And you need to be in contact with him more amen because amen. this world it says in the last days things are going to be worse we haven't seen the worst yet it's getting bad it is bad but it's going to get worse amen so i don't want to know what the worst is so i'm going to submit myself to him and seek him first and when all these worst things come, I know that God is with me. Yeah, amen. amen. And I can I can say, you know, hey, whatever is coming, 
God is with me. Yes. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise God. Amen. So let God, so let God arise. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let go and let God. That's what I was trying to. So let go and let God arise. Surrender. Cast all things on him and let him have control. Amen. Sometimes we want to do it all. You know, we, 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 we can have control physically, but spiritually, you can't defeat a spiritual being in the physical. You got to be in the word, uh, in, in the spirit by being in the word of God. Amen. Let God arise. We sang that song this morning. Let God arise. And let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And we got to let him rise. Amen. We must let him. The song is hardly ever sung in churches anymore. These blood songs, we don't even hear them in, in church anymore. We, we, we can't stop those, singing those hymns. Amen. Goes against the powers of darkness. That's it. And we tells you in Ephesians 6 and 12 who we fighting. Uh -huh. We fighting spiritual beings in heavenly places. Yeah. We're not fighting phys physically. We're fighting spiritual beings in heavenly places. Yeah. You know, your neighbor, uh, people is not your enemy. That's it. Amen. You got, you're thinking wrong. Uh -huh. It's a spirit being. Yeah. And you need the word. Amen. We need the, we need the word. Yeah. We should uh, be marching. We should be, church, we should be uh, uh, singing these songs. And let uh -huh. the songs be our marching songs. Amen. Yes. Praise yeah. God. Let the gates of hell be stormed. Let the devil yeah. strongholds fall. Mm -hmm. Collapse, drop, and cease and plunge. Amen. Let God's people win great spiritual victories. Amen. Amen. And we can do these things through Him if yes, we yeah. give ourselves to Him and we let Him arise. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. God. Thank you. Thank you. Let God arise when things will not uh, are, are are not, things are not doing well. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Let God arise. When we do, things will come alive in church and we'll begin to press on yes. and go forward and not backwards. Amen. We must break out of our religious ruts. All right. Amen. We listen. Mm -hmm. Things we have to do, things we've done the same way, uh -huh. things we've experienced in our myth, away with powerless traditions, oh, away yeah. with mindsets. Yes. It's always been done this way. Uh -huh. And we're going to continue doing this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then we try to limit God by doing these things. Mm -hmm. We got to get away from yeah. those things. Yeah. Get away. It's always been done like this. Not anymore. Not anymore. Away with mindsets. <laughs> away with traditions. Right, right. And you go to a place and say, you know, hey, you're not dressed right. Uh, you're not doing this right. You're doing this wrong. You got to sit over there. You got to sit over here. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is the way we do it here. Mm. Well, people start telling you things, and you ask them, "Excuse me, uh, <clears throat> you have scripture for that?" Yeah. You no, know, it's just something that we do in this church. Yeah. And you know what church is? Church is us, the mm -hmm. the, the, the body right. of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are the church. I'm not going to go to a place where they control you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We still honor God, but. But still, when when they say you got to sit men over here, women over here, oh, uh, sit in back, or sit over here, you got to dress this way, you mm -hmm. can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -uh. I need to go find somewhere where I can yeah. praise God, Amen, yes. and worship God, yeah. and not sit be controlled. You know, <laughs> be where I where I can sit myself. You know, mm -hmm. that is not right. Praise God. As God's people, we need to understand that God is a God of variety. Yes. It's a God yes, of yes. diversity. Yes. It's different. Amen. It's different. He isn't controlled by traditions or habits or the same ways yes, or is. always been done like this. Right. Amen. It's done different. Mm -hmm. He doesn't always manifest himself or his power in the same every time. Yes, yes. You know, healings. He healed people different ways. Yeah. Some he spoke, some he laid hands on, and some he touched. Well, some he touched, some he yeah. spoke, some he rubbed. <laughs> spit on. Spit on, you know. <laughs> Say, ooh, I don't like that. But guess what? They got their vision back. Yes. <laughs> but he does it different. 
whichever way he does it yeah we just need to be obedient and That's receive mm -hmm. amen not traditional ways you know well we do it like this yeah. <laughs> oh, God. god is not going to be mm -hmm. uh controlled that That's way it. amen we can't limit him. We can't limit his powers. That's it. We just gotta have, have let him have his ways. Amen. Don't limit him. Let him arise. Praise God. Amen. Different methods. Different results. Amen. Yeah. They were all healed. We build spiritual ruts in our Christian walks when we put limitations on God mm. that require him to operate in those boundaries mm -hmm. or how we think. It should be done in church. Mm. You know, this building is not the church. This mm. is a building where mm. we assemble ourselves together. It's time yeah. to know we are the church. We are the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. And this yeah. temple, this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's it. Amen. Not this building. That's it. Praise God. Praise your <laughs> 1 Samuel 13 and 14 says this, But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. Yes, yes. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. So God described David as a man after his own heart. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Are you seeking Him? Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you seeking God's ways or are you seeking a traditional ways? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're selling traditional ways, it's time to get away from those mm -hmm. things. You know, it's just the same thing over and over and over. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's powerless. Mm -hmm. There's no God. Mm -hmm. No power. Mm -hmm. No power. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. David. Things about David. No enemy ever succeeded over him. He rose from nothing. Mm. The way people saw him. He rose from nothing. He rose from a little shepherd boy to becoming the greatest king of Israel. Mm -hmm. What about you? Mm -hmm. That we can also rise and soar as eagles with him and not be scratching with chickens or wallowing with pigs. If you only see what he sees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That little shepherd boy, I think I posted something on Facebook too, is a little kitten and he's looking in this yeah, pool yeah. of water. Yeah, water. And he, he's looking in the water mm. and he sees a lion. He sees a, a <laughs> big, huge tiger. And that's the way you have to see yourself. You might be small, mm. but in him, you're great. Amen. That's Amen. Right. That's right. You may see yourself small, but through him, man, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. That's it. Amen. Yeah. All you have to do is use the word. Yeah. Amen. Use the word. <laughs> like David, you can do the same. Yeah. We can also rise and soar with, with, uh, with eagles. Overcome your enemies. Uh -huh. Know who you are and who you are in him. Yeah. Know you can do all things through Christ. Things. Big or small, That's do it unto him. Yes. Amen. Whatever you do, do it unto him. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. God is pleased and he rewards and promotes you. Praise God. Things may be a certain way, but mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to make a way for you. You know, it may not be, may not look right. Mm. It may not look like there's going to be no way, but he make a way. He put, <laughs> he'll put a, a river in the desert. He parted a sea. Mm -hmm. You know, he can do, there's nothing impossible for him. That's it. He can do all things, all and we can things. do all things through Him who strengthens us. Amen. Woo. Psalms 37, 23 says, The steps of a good man are ordered of God, and He delights in His way. The good steps are ordered. Uh, 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 how's that go? Uh, Psalms. Uh, let me, let, let's read this. Psalms 37, 23. Uh, Psalms. Book of Psalms. 37. 37, 23. Are you there? It says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his ways. Hallelujah. Uh, the Amplified says, The steps of a good man are directed and established by the Lord, and when he delights in his ways, and he uh, busies himself with his every step. Amen. Man, I like that. 
Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I like that. The steps of a good man are ordered of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And in closing, <laughs> I will read you this one, these two last ones here. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says this. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Amen. Amen. Trust him. Let him arise. He knows. Yeah. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and all thy thoughts will be established. Yes. Just remember to let him rise up. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So in closing, <laughs> an individual or a church body that wants to experience a fresh move of God has got to be willing to say, mm -hmm. let God arise yes. and let him allow him to have his Amen. way. Thank Amen. You. Let it go and let God, church, quit yeah. trying to hold him down. Right. Stop trying to put limitations uh -huh. and let him rise. God's yes. nature is to rise up. Amen. So let God rise in your life. Yes. Over your circumstances, over your situations, over yes. your troubles, over your problems. Amen. Remember to let God arise yes. and magnify him and not the problem. Amen. Amen. Whatever you, whatever it may be. Amen. For God is awesome. Yes, I hope you got something from that. Yeah. <laughs> I did. So thank you, Father, for your thank precious you, word. Help us, Lord, to just apply it to our lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. And let you rise up, Father God. Yes. Please forgive us, Lord, for, for uh, not letting you rise up. We're trying yes. to put limitations on you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We want you to rise up. We let you rise up in this in, in our lives, in this yeah. church, right in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So we thank you. And some of you are watching, some of you are listening. If you've never asked them, now's the time. Yeah. All you have to do is just say, Lord, yes. I sin against you. I, I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And he will turn you down. And it's time to get busy for him. It's time to get up and Press out with yeah, him, you know, yeah. and step out in faith and yeah. start growing in the things of God. Yeah. Let God rise up in your life. Yeah. You know, quit letting all these circumstances come against you. Right. You know, or hold you down. No, no more. Or tradition, traditional ways, you know. It's time to let go and let God. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. If you have sickness in your body, we just trusted Jesus took his stripes on his back. The Bible says by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Yeah. So I'm believing. Amen. Yeah. I'm believing. My body is healed in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And we just rebuke every spirit of uh, uh, sickness trying to yeah. attack you uh, yes. to go in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. The time to give. Those of you who are watching and listening, would like to give uh, your tithes, your offerings. Uh, you can still do that or just go to our website. NBC Big Ben and hit that donate button. Amen. Uh, if you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. So yeah. first guy. And huh? Cash out. And cash out. We do cash out also. New Beginnings Church. New Beginnings Church. Praise God. So we love you. God loves you. And uh, praise God. Amen. Let Him rise up in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.